What's up guys, Chrome here. In today's video we're going to be playing some Forza Horizon 3. Um, I'm going to be doing something a little different. We're going to actually be, be playing on the debug version, which means I will have cars that previously didn't have, etc. So like, for example, this car is coming out in the future. Um, also you may notice my money's big and stuff like that. Keep in mind this is a debug version, so you can add all that sort of stuff if you want to. And it is completely offline too. It does not connect to online, so I'm not online destroying leaderboards or anything. Um, so this is the 1985 VK Commodore. Um, it's the HDD, HDT Rock Edition. Now, as you'll see, there are some things that I have different in this build. Uh, for example, that wing on there, you can't remove. Um, in fact, even I can't remove for this particular build. Um, so I can't remove that wing, as you can see. So I'm going to go back to my other one, which is modded already, and we're going to go for an upgrade again. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want the wing. I don't like the wing. Um, but as you can see, I've removed the wing, and that's actually a modification, so you won't be able to do that. Um, anyway, the other thing is, the standard 4.9 litre V8 motor that this car has actually doesn't have sound yet, so I'm going to do an LS swap. Um, so we've got the twin screw supercharger, we've got the drive tr drive train at the same, we've got stock tyres, I believe. Yeah, we'll leave stock on. We'll leave pretty much all that stock. Um, we've got a race of everything in here. So, let's see where we go. Um, anyway, yeah, this, so this car is not out yet. It will be out. Um, well, I don't know when it'll be out, to be honest, but it's not out. Also, I've got my taco working today, too, as you'll see. And we'll just switch over to this camera, to the GoPro, and let's go do some drifting. Now, the other thing is, because I'm on the PC version, the steering wheel's a little bit different, it feels a lot different. And the other thing would be, the shifter does not work on PC. I'll get it to work, but it does not work at the moment. Alright, let's see what we can do. So as you can see, steering wheel does feel a lot different. It's a lot less responsive. It's more responsive and less responsive in some ways other than console. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can do. We'll go my normal drift route and see how I go. Having stock tyres and a lot of power, this thing just slides all over the place. Um, it's really slippery, so we've got no problems getting it sideways. Um, let's go into interior view and show you guys that a bit. So as you can see, it's the full HDD, the HDT edition. Um, I don't usually drift in this view for the reason being that as you can see, I have full 900 degrees like this. Like, look, see, I have a full 900, and the in-car only goes 90 degrees, which frustrates me. And just to show you, this is a debug version. I even have a menu. Look, so, you know. All right. So now let's get out of this and let's actually drift this thing. Remember, guys, if you like this sort of content. Make sure to drop a like and make sure to subscribe to see more of this. Uh, I will be coming out with some more videos. This, this build does have the Porsches. It has a lot of game, a lot of cars that aren't actually out yet, so... Alright, let's see how we go. So remember, this is really slippery and it is different. To uh, uh, what's the word looking for? It is different for Xbox. It feels a little more realistic in some ways, but in some other ways, it's just it doesn't have as much feeling, I guess you could say. 
So like right there. I have just a little like on me. Alright, so let's try it again. Um, I don't feel too hot. I'm trying to make this pretty quick video. I did promise you guys this video yesterday, but nothing went right for me. All my technology decided they wanted to play up, so. Alright, go again. So as you guys can see, this car is not too bad to drift. I wouldn't say it's a dream, because it is pretty slippery. Oh, let's give that car a little nudge. We'll go back this way. I just got a mad little bit of understeer right there, nothing that a handbrake pipe couldn't fix. But um, yeah, this car is no tune, it's just straight up. What I'm looking for here. Straight up, um, just got some upgrades, like got max everything basically. Anyway, guys, I'm um, gonna leave the video there. You guys have seen a, a good, nice, quick little drift display. So, as soon as we stop drifting, we will end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember if you did, make sure to drop a like, make sure to check out my Facebook links and stuff like that as well. Because I do post pictures and stuff of the debug build. Also, comment if you'd like to actually see some modifications. Like, I'm thinking about doing real modifications like blowers and cars don't have them and smoke mods and stuff like that. Because, you know, I used to mod this game uh, back in the day. Well, not this game, but Forza games in general. But, um, anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm out. Peace.